Morning guys. Well, what a lovely Sunday morning today. Look at that. Lovely and sunny. Um, Poppy and Jack are having a mummy day today. So Lucy's going to have a daddy's day today. Um, we've got quite a few things planned. We're going to go to a place called the Shell Grotto in Margate. Now I've lived here practically all my life and never been there. Um, I'm going to have to look it up. I'm going to have to look it up to tell you more about it when I get there. But it's something about all shells down a tunnel and everything else. Yeah, we're going to go to that. Then we're going to have a bit of lunch and do the cinema. How about that, guys? Right, I've got a sad day tomorrow. Scotty um, has got a job now in Maidstone. He's going to be working at a bigger hotel with his friend. It's living. So it's going to be a sad day for poor old dad tomorrow when I've got to take um, my big boy to the hotel. He's got to, got to pick him up um, when I finish work. Put all his TV, clothes and everything else in the car. But yeah, he's, he's going over to Maidstone. But what we'll do is at weekends when he's off and that, we'll all go and visit him, go and say hi to him. But he's look, I think he's really looking forward to it. It's going to be nice for him. It's going to give him a bit of independence as well. So yeah, anyway, let me give Lucy a quick call, get her in the car, and we'll catch you in a little while. Right, me and Lucy have just popped down to Broadstairs on our way to Margate. We're gonna go and have a quick um, hot chocolate and that. Guys, we're parked right literally on the seafront. Look at this. That's where the car's parked, and there's the sea. Oh, look at that today. Does that look cold or what? Oh, it's freezing here though, isn't it? Very cold, but that's Broadstairs. Anyway, it's a nice little uh, place, little harbour, and well, a harbour, what am I on about, little harbour? Well, it has got a little harbour as such, hasn't it? There's the cliffs down there. Right, I think we need to warm up and go and have a quick hot chocolate before we go Margate. Guys, there's a bit more abroad, says quickly, I've just literally stopped the car on double yellow lines to show you. It all comes on these vlogs. So that's broad stairs. Look at these little huts. I remember these from years ago. But yeah, as you can see, lots of people about where their dog is. Must be bad because it's freezing. That's part of the little uh, town bit to the beach, what you drive down. There's Lucy, look. <laughs> Saying, hurry up, Dad, I, wa I want a drink. Right, we've arrived in Margate. Um, yeah, this Shell Grotto we're going to, I don't really know that much about it. We're a bit ignorant on that sort of thing. You know what it's like, guys, even though we've lived here for God knows how many years. Um, it was founded in 1835. I've just, had, I've just had a quick look on Google and there's 4.6 million shells you know like seashells that sort of thing underground I'm gonna try and find someone see if we can get a bit of info on it we're inside the shop at the moment lots of shells I need to find out about this place hmm, different isn't it though Right guys, we're here now. We've got this map. Because if you don't have a map, you won't know where you go. You know it makes sense. Um, we just asked the man. Got all the details here. It was discovered in 1835. The length of it is 104 foot. And there's no real explanation to why it's here at the moment. But let's go and have a look. The only underground shell can in the world. The only underground shell temple in the world. Right, let's go down here. So nobody really knows when this was discovered what it was for. Oh, it's a bit spooky down here, though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Guys, all the shells it's saying down here are all from our Fanic coastline. Oh, look at that. That's mad, isn't it? Hang on, do we need the map to see which way to go? It's a bit echoey here, isn't it? I wonder what, what it actually is, why it was built. Do you know what I reckon, Lou? What? It was a Freemason thing or something like that. That's mad, isn't it? Look at all the shells everywhere. Is that it? <laughs> we've done it. <laughs> Why have we got a map? <laughs> look, there, look, it's. What, we've done it? That's it. Yeah, 100 foot. But it's just like an underground tunnel, all with shells. 
But all these shells are all from our coastline, from Margate, Fannet, Ramsgate, Broadstairs, Herne Bay. But no one built it. Eh? Well, someone, it's been built. So, they discovered it, but somebody built it, but nobody knows why. There's that many different theories, the man was saying, but nobody's ever known what it actually is. Because look, I mean, you think, I mean, one person's not gonna do all this, sit here on a Sunday afternoon and think, I've got nothing to do and let's put all these shelves up here, are they? Don't know. What do you mean you don't know? It's gonna take years to do this. I mean, look, all the walls got the shelves. We got a shell experience today, Lou. But why would you do all these walls of shells and everything? There must be a purpose. We're going to have to read into it more, Lou. Yeah. Let's go back upstairs and we'll have a little read into it. But why would you only do it for 100 foot? Don't make sense. Right, guys, we're going to read a bit about it. It says there are conflicting accounts, although most agree this was discovered in 1835. Why was it built? We don't know. Who by? We don't know. The, is it ancient, medieval or Georgian? Those who believe the grotto argue the shells are not arranged in mere patterns, but convey complex symbolism, but the symbol you see depends on whether you favour the Romans. I don't know. Hmm, nobody really knows. Was it a smuggler's cave? Good idea, but it's too far from the coast. Where do the shells come from? They're all from Walpole Bay, Cliftonville, Pegwell Bay. So they're all local, Cliffs End, Richborough, Sandwich Bay. It says why they, why would they come so dirty? Where does it say that? Because it was lit with gas lamps for nearly a hundred years. Hmm. So it's got an old, that's the old room that's downstairs. There's a bare room at the altar room because, <laughs> because there was a bomb. Hmm, a bomb destroyed some of it in World War Two. But nobody really knows, was just talking to the man upstairs, what it actually was built for why it's there. I reckon what it was is, in 1835, somebody was going to make a YouTube channel and it was based on shells, <laughs> so they built it. What do you reckon, Lou? <laughs> I'm going to have a read up on it, guys, when I get home and uh, see if I can find any more information for you. Even the person who worked there didn't know a lot why it was there or anything else. So, we're a bit in the dark at the moment. Right, we're back in Ramsgate. We're gonna go for a bit of lunch and read up about Shell Grotto. You know, we've got to do that now we've been there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a look what's on the cinema. Right, guys, bit of Nando's, love it. Guys, we've got a healthy in Nando's. We are the healthy people, look at this. She's saying it's not a healthy, but I think it is. We've got a nice bit of double chicken in there with salad, bit of rice, coleslaw. Lucy's got the same with rice and corn on the cob. Yummy. Right, Lucy's just going into the View Cinema to see what's on. I quite fancy a film. Um, don't know if you've heard of it, guys. It's called 1917. About two young boys who are um, going on an impossible mission or something, and they're old warplanes. You know what I mean, just read about it. I thought that dinner was healthy. Lucy doesn't agree, because we didn't have chips, we had rice with it, and I thought it was very healthy for once. Yum, yum, yum. It was lovely. Right, we're just in the View Cinema now. We're going to book our tickets. We are going to see 1917. Let's book our tickets, though. That's what we're going to see. That one. Can we focus what in on it? 425. Yeah, VIP seats. You know it makes sense, Lou. Look, I'm not having bum ache all the Where's way through your... the cinema. <laughs> That's all I get is sit? bum ache. There, there. Wherever you want to, babe. I don't mind. Right, we got our tickets. We've got two hours to kill before the film. So what are we going to do, Lou? I'm not sure. We're not too sure what we're going to do. We're going to head back to the car first anyway, then decide. Guys, I'll tell you what, we are going to educate you today. Because we are going to see a film about 1917, World War One. 
we've come to the Spitfire Museum to kill a bit of time to have a look at uh, what went down in World War II, the old Spitfires and that. So this is an educational vlog today. We've even got a bomb outside, an old bomb. Look at that guys. Look at that old Spitfire Lou. I tell you what, and I bet you that'll get you quicker to Spain for a holiday than EasyJet. What do you reckon? <laughs> Oh, look how big they are. Amazing, isn't it? You're this close. Oh, I was just going to say I'm going to touch it, but I better not do. Look at that. You don't realise how big they were from the war. Hang on, we've still got the pilot here. Hello, mate. <laughs> look, there's the old... There's a machine gun that used to be on the uh, planes. I do like these old flight jackets. I'd love one of these. Do you like these flight jackets, Lou? No. No? I'd love one. Look at that. Uh, RAF Manston being a big part of World War II with the, all the Spitfires and that base there, you get the odd, in the summer, don't you, Lucy, all the Spitfires fly by and yeah. the noise of them, ah, oh, it's the best noise you'll ever hear. Was it Rolls-Royce engines or Merlin? I don't know. I'm trying to think. I think it was Rolls-Royce. I think the Merlin was in the Hurricane. Not too sure. It's one of those two. But oh, you want to hear the sound of lovely, deep, deep sound. In fact, I wish my Audi sounded like them. Anyway, let's have another look. There's the engine, guys. We've just been talking about engines. There's a Spitfire engine. Oh, it is. It's a Rolls-Royce Merlin. And it powered the Spitfire, Hawker, Sea, Hurricane. Yeah, there you go. So there's the actual engine from one. Seen better days though, that one has. As we just found another Spitfire in the other room. Look at that. That is so good, isn't it? Women at war. Yeah, Lucy, this is what everybody needs in the house. Look, these gas masks when Jordan's had a curry, don't that's for everybody to wear. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to be a bit quiet. There's a flight simulator, you can actually have a go in what it feels like to uh, fly a Spitfire. It's 30 pound for a 30 minute experience. I want to book it, definitely. Check it out, I'll see if I can sneak over there quickly. I'd love to have a go on that. Saying to Lucy, you got to book it online. I'm, that's going to definitely be on my list this year to have a go on that flight simulator, no matter what. There's the old airfield over there, where obviously the Spitfires used to be, but um, that's all closed down now, guys. Funny enough, it's supposed to be reopening. Uh, Let me if tell Brexit you. Brexit goes ahead. It's going to be a truck park where they do all the paperwork and everything else. That's the latest news. You heard it first in Fanit. Yep, it's going to be full of lorries all the time to clear customs, that sort of thing, before they can head down to Dover docks if Brexit goes ahead. We will see. I'm not really into Brexit whatsoever, so I'm not even going to go on about it. Does my head in hearing about it all the time. Just come round to see the puppies before we go to the cinema. Nutty dogs, nutty Labradors. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, we're going to the cinema, Mum. See 1917. About two boys. Yeah. Right, we've just pulled up at the cinema. Me and Lucy are going in now to watch 1917. I'll let you guys know what it's like when we come out. We're in the cinema now. Lucy, what? Tell everyone what you're drinking. Tango ice blast. I've got chocolate milkshake. That is massive, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that for a screen. Right, so we're just waiting for the film to start. 
Right, we just come out of the cinema. What did you think, though? It was different. Yeah, it was all right. It was different. It was definitely different. I'm not going to tell you too much of the story, guys, in case you go to the cinema to watch it. But uh, yeah, it was definitely it was definitely different. It's basically based on two people, isn't it? Really. Yeah. Then goes down. Well, I'm not going to say it. I'll tell them the story else. Yeah, guys, just take my word for it. It's definitely worth a watch, without a doubt. Right, guys, I'm back home now. I had a really good day today with Lucy. Doesn't the weekend go by so quick? Unbelievable. I need my hair cut seriously. I'm seriously going next weekend. Back to some many work tomorrow. All I'm going to do tonight, chuck the TV on, bit of Netflix, upload this vlog. Lucy asked me to say a big hi to Jack Saunders. Uh, Jack watches my videos. Good on you, mate. Hope you enjoy them. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be about it, guys. Uh, I enjoyed the cinema today. Well, I enjoyed the whole day out with Lucy. Um, it's going to be a busy day tomorrow for me because obviously as soon as I finish work, I've got to come straight back, get Scotty boy and take him to his new job. Going to miss my big boy, but I can see him at the weekend, so that's the main thing. We can always go and visit him or no doubt he'll come down here. I think he has the weekends off. I'm not 100% sure or every other weekend, but we'll be going up to see him on his first weekend off to come pay him a visit and have a look around Maidstone. So yeah, a quite a busy day for me tomorrow, guys. Anyway, I hope all of you have had a good weekend. Um, it's torrential rain in Ramsgate tonight as we got out of the cinema, it started raining. Can't wait for the summer. And guys, um, this year, there's gonna be big things happening. I will be getting a place this year, around about April, May time. So I'll be bang more on the vlogs. I'll be doing the old cooking videos. Uh, and my shopping hauls so yeah there's quite a few things um happening this year shannon and lucy are going on holiday for the first time on their own and i'll be taking them down there and spending a day with them so yes yeah, quite yeah so there's going to be a lot happening anyway guys i'm not going to tell you too much more or else you're going to know all the vlogs that's happening thanks for watching guys and i will catch you next week bye